wake up, uh, have a bowl of cereal, have a cup of coffee, uh, and sort of get ready for the day, and then drive here to the Capitol pretty quickly after that. Meetings, I think, are a really important part of uh, making sure that we're prepared to deal with bills when they come up in a committee. Um, oftentimes, we'll have a committee that's scheduled, and there's, you know, dozens of bills that are pending before the committee. It always helps for us to be able to get together in a pre-meeting to talk about which bills we think will actually be called for a vote that day, um, and just have some discussions among ourselves about. Uh, you know, maybe somebody who we talked to from our district who weighed in on a certain bill in, in opposition to or in support of the bill, some of the reasons for it, um, helps us sort of get, get prepared and get in the, the right space to be able to talk about the bills in a couple of minutes in committee. Committees are an important part of the legislative process. Um, I always describe it as sort of a funnel. So uh, any legislator can introduce any number of bills. I mean, I could come out with a hundred legislative initiatives in a year if I wanted to. Um, those bills then get assigned to a committee. That's the first step in the process. They have to be debated and voted on in a committee in order to make it to the House floor. So as you sort of work, work your way down there, there's a lot of bills that get introduced. There are a few bills that make it out of a committee with a successful vote, and then an even fewer number that make it through the entire House. Then it goes over to the Senate. The same thing happens with Senate bills, and then they come over to the House. So it's really sort of a, a, a screening process for bills to help you get a little bit more in-depth knowledge about a subject before it comes up for a full vote of the House. There are a couple committees that I serve as the Republican spokesperson on, so that's the ranking Republican member. Um, the Democrats in, in the majority, they have a chairperson of each committee, um, and so I serve on the uh, Appropriations for Human Services spokesperson and the spokesperson on the Prescription Drug Affordability Committee. As we look forward from this point, we've got, uh, we're going to do a press conference at noon um, talking about the state budget and some recent um, revisions that happened to the revenue estimates um, for the upcoming fiscal year's budget. Um, we also will go into session um, on the House floor. I think today we were scheduled to have uh, the Consul General from Australia who's going to address the House, um, talk a little bit about the partnership between the state of Illinois and the, the nation of Australia. Cheesecake Day, it's a, a hallowed tradition here at the Capitol. It's, kind of nice to have uh, something to, to pick you up in the middle of a long day. TechNet is a group um, that has member uh, agencies that are all sorts of different tech companies from across the country. So uh, today we had folks in from Amazon, AT&T, uh, representatives of the, the broad tech community who really are doing some really innovative and interesting things all across the country. Um, I was you know, honored today to, to receive an award from them for some of the work that we've done to try to make sure that Illinois is a place where uh, tech jobs and new economy jobs can grow and thrive and that we're a welcoming place to get those kinds of new investments. Um, we also just have quite a few uh, people coming in for meetings on a variety of topics, so it's really going to be sort of back-to-back -back meetings for most of the day. It's very common to have multiple appointments at the same time down here. Things are constantly being shuffled around. Uh, my secretary, Helen, does an excellent job of making sure that we're sort of in the right place at the right time. Uh, but it's pretty common to have a, a number of people lined up outside the office waiting to talk. And you just try to make it through as best you can. Try to be respectful of people's time. Um, try to, to be efficient in your conversations, get to the point quickly, uh, and move on. But um, you know, we're only down here in Springfield a limited number of days, so the days that we are here tend to fill up very quickly. So, you know, we, we end up uh, serving here for long periods of time, you know, on the days that we're down here in session, can be hours and hours on the floor. Uh, people tend to get a little bit hungry. So I've got a, uh, I've got a nice snack drawer here <laughs> full, of, uh, full of things that people can come back and, and grab if they're getting hungry throughout the day. Just sort of a way to, to help us make it through the day. Um, I've got a, a daughter who's just, uh, just turned two in December. Um, so she's learning how to use FaceTime now. So uh, we, we try to connect uh, when, she's, when she's not taking a nap or outside playing in the nice weather. Um, I'm able to you know, call home and FaceTime with my wife and daughter. And it's, it's such a nice way to be able to connect. Uh, you know, every night in Springfield, there's always a couple of different uh, 
associations, statewide groups who come down here. Um, they'll have members who walk around the Capitol all day meeting with their various legislators. Uh, and then they usually host a kind of a reception in the evenings too. So we have a couple of receptions to go to tonight to say hi to some people from the district with various groups. Um, and then there's also a chance to sit down and have dinner with some of them too. So there's, there's always a lot on the calendar, really from <laughs> sun up until sundown. Um, you know, you, know, you sort of get in the, in the mode of maybe eating a, a little bit of food in one place and the next so you're not eating this a huge meal everywhere you go. Uh, but it is really valuable time and it's, it's always fun in the evenings to be able to see people who are down here visiting from the district to be able to talk to them about what's going on back home, but also to be able to share a little bit of the experience of being at the Capitol with them. Before we get stuck, it'll be on video.